What's up, North County? I'm your host, Randy Doty, and we have another local business spotlight. We have Marley Howitt with the Cresta Store in. Good morning. Yes, yes, good morning. How are you? Doing well. How are you? I'm doing super awesome, super awesome. So tell me a little bit about what you got going on. So are you are you native here? I'm not native. Uh, I have lived here for 14 years. I moved to Creston about six years ago. Um, so I say I'm not native, but the second I chose to be, I did. So the second I turned 18, I moved up here. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Very cool. And then you decided just to open a store? Or yeah. What's... So how does, how does we that come are across your plate? the Creston House and General Store established in 2020. Nice. Um, so as we all know, 2020 hit I was working in the service industry so I lost all three of my jobs that I was working <laughs> and uh, from there uh, an opportunity fell into my lap uh, my partner in the business um, was always interested in the country store general store that has been there since 94 there's always been some sort of a general store there um, and the property ended up coming up for sale. So we purchased it, uh, which was a big leap. It was May of 2020 when the process started. Wow. And then we ended up um, getting fully opened by August of 2020. Yeah, and so, I mean... You could have uh, like picked the, the worst time, yeah. right? No, it was it was a ridiculously tough time to open. Um, the community was really excited to have us, but at the same time, dealing with the water department and the health department and the county, uh, that was tough because everyone was working out of office and there was no p protocol for what they were really doing. Um, some of it made it a little easier and some of it made it a little tougher, um, just wow. as far as um, getting through the hoops of trying to open up a business. <laughs> but I think, you know, during that time, you know, there were certain parts of the county that were, you know, really kind of like the old Wild West, mm -hmm. you know, and obviously, you know, Creston yeah. as what it is, yeah. kind of held true to that, yeah. that state, huh? Yeah. Creston's unincorporated, um, so we were just through the county itself. So, yeah, no, the um, it was funny talking even to the ABC. I'm like, yeah, I want, you know, people to be able to open up a beer and sit outside. And they're like, well, do you really need a license for that? I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. You, <laughs> that's your guys' deal. They're like, ah, no one's going to go check out there. So, yeah, Creston is uh, its own uh its own entity that's for and sure and it's a pretty cool place i mean especially for the locals yeah you know i mean i i, I mean everybody has their favorites you yeah. know and obviously going out to creston is one of ours yeah you know and it's just kind of like where it's still local yeah you know and still absolutely local uh you i used to work in town uh before all of this and i would tell people i live in creston and the amount of people that grew up here and still would go where's creston is crazy it's so yeah but we've we have uh, about what is it four businesses plus the post office um so yeah it's a mm. it's a really cute little town i people from out of town always go do you see anyone in here and yeah i see about 100 people a day and I would say about 70 of them are the same 70 people every day. So it's nice. You know, every time I have a new employee, I'm able to say, this is Ron, this is Butch, this is Tim, you know, oh, so you're <laughs> for locals. all of my, I have quite about a, a bit of locals and of course my regulars. So yeah, I would say the majority of my business is locals. And then whether it's wildflower season or there's a wedding in town, we'll get a little bit of tourism, but Creston is really just all about the locals. You got obviously the Crescent Store, General mm -hmm. Store, <clears throat> which you guys barbecue and do some like yeah. some sandwiches yeah, and, and stuff then, like that. Yeah, there, right? in summer we do Taco Tuesdays, and then uh, during the year, you know, we have our basic menu is sandwiches, pizzas, milkshakes, and espresso. So that's kind of what we like to focus in on. And what? And are you open every day? We are open every day. We're open seven days a week. So Monday through Friday, we kind of have those longer hours um, from 8 to 7 p.m. And then uh, Saturday, Sunday, we have a little shorter hours from 9 to 5. And when you notice that that person come in that you've never seen before, yeah. do you, I mean, do you ever get that thrill of just going, how did you, how did, how did you find Creston here and, and hear the stories? Yeah, yeah. So 
there's two positives to seeing someone that I've never seen in there because I usually know everyone. So I, I am able to say, oh, my gosh, welcome in. Right. <laughs> um, so the first one is they live in Creston and they've driven past the building quite a few times and they're just now stopping in, which is my favorite answer because it means that there is more customers out there. Um, and then the second is tourism. And they are surprised that a business is able to sustain out here because they think that they're in the middle of nowhere. Um, they ask me where the closest gas station is, and I say wherever you came from. Uh, so, right? Yeah. And and how do they how do they stumble upon Creston? Creston? So, uh, you know, the loading chute does quite a bit of weddings. There's just quite a few to wedding oh, venues out there. And then there's a program called the Backroads Wineries. Um, so there's quite a few wineries out there that people. Uh, Aren't, don't realize that there's quite a bit going on in the general area. Now, downtown Creston houses about 90 people, but mm. uh, the outskirts of Creston, there there is tons of, you know, if you drive up on a hill in the middle of the night and see all the lights on, um, uh, there's quite a few people out there. And, I get, and it kind of like all spread, there's like that that one little community, if you mm -hmm. pass, you know, go over go over the, uh, the bridge yes. off to the left-hand side, which is, I mean, they're all still, you know, yeah. decent sized lots but yeah they're that's technically paso but of course we welcome them as crestonites that's considered paso that is considered really? paso um so basically on the other side of the 41 um is paso and then on oh no kidding what would it be the east side is creston okay. for the most part it, it the the lines are really funny um and then like they've kind of like added Adelaide as an area and huh. then um you know Shannon kind of like weaves in and out the further that you go down the 41 so um yeah the the actual Creston zip code is kind of funny how it's like positioned wow I probably had to do with ranches at some point right so August in so in August you guys op August of 2020 yeah so, you know, the year that the world end, uh, yeah. stopped, <laughs> stopped moving. Yeah. Um, so you opened August 2020. We're mm -hmm. still in the middle of this weird time that we're living in. And yeah. you're going, what the hell am I doing? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah. So uh, it, I had never owned a business before. Um, my partner has a few, but definitely none in the food service industry. But I had been working in the food industry service industry for uh, quite some time, basically all of my working life. Um, so I knew I had customer service down um, and food itself, you know, I, if you, sandwiches are just all about creating. So right. it's just being creative and um, pulling uh, inspiration from other, other meals that you've had. So yeah, but we got it started. It was tough it still is like owning a small business is not for the faint of heart um a lot of hours huh? yeah a lot of hours and then right before i opened i found out i was pregnant with my son um halfway through the wow. remodel point uh so if anyone has really kept up with my business they've seen that we've had a lot of changes and it's really just had to do with we are so small and our team is so small that it is Basically, what's going on with my life changes um, ends up with the changes of the store. So we're pretty dialed in now um, as wow. far as the menu and what we have to offer. Um, uh, so expansion. when you walk in, you yeah. get you know you, you might have a little playpen over there in the corner. <laughs> one of those. Uh, yeah, you might see my guy playing with his Legos up front, but he's not there too often. You're like baby, not for sale. Yeah, no, he's definitely <laughs> not for sale. Uh, yeah, so he just turned two and a half, and the store turned three last august so it'll be four uh this coming august wow congratulations so, yeah so that was a little bit of a life hurdle combo of um having a baby and a baby business as well so you did everything that for i mean obviously not intentionally yeah. but i mean everything I just, that would make somebody fail yeah. <laughs> happened all in that one time i mean yeah. obviously you know having a child, yeah. you know, takes away from yeah. a lot. I mean, as you know, you know, opening a business during yeah. the worst possible time, that you, yeah. especially a food industry business. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like I said, I mean, you just saw the stars lined up and. Yeah. You know, I have an amazing partner in this. Um, 
that is kind of a, a silent partner, if you will. And if anybody knows him, you know he's not that silent. But um, <laughs> who are we talking about? Jacob Pettyjohn. Oh is yeah, my partner give Jacob a little this. shout out yeah. there, right? <laughs> we know he's not silent. Yeah, JP Ag Services. He's off doing other things right now. Um, but yeah, so he he did really help um, get me started as well, um, just as far as his business sense. Um, and he's just been my support system through all of this. But you you will not really ever catch him handling the food in the store. <laughs> I think I've, I've seen him outside with the barbecue going. He will do you know, the barbecue. The yeah. Yeah. We just don't, we don't have him uh, behind the counter too much. He does have other things to do. <laughs> he has great people, people skills. Yeah. 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 But so that's super cool. So you guys are, you guys are right in between the loading chute and the long branch, uh -huh. right? Uh, right on the right hand side. Yeah. And you right guys... next to the post office. Okay. Okay. And so, and you have everything. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we were so... in there. I mean, you have everything for, you know, home needs mm -hmm. and you know, obviously food, drinks, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah, as you first walk in, we have a little bit of a gift items, you know, um, it does just help with the revenue and it helps, you know, make it feel like a cuter little store. Uh, and then, yeah, the rest is convenience. So our slogan is bringing convenience to Creston, uh, because there is nothing convenient about living in Creston. If you live there, we have no gas station um, and we're all on our own well and all that fun stuff. So yeah, um, so the convenience point of, uh, you know, beer, ice, wine, local meats and cheeses, chips, candies, all of that. And then a little bit of uh, produce, milk, eggs, butter, all the good stuff. And then we'll serve you breakfast, lunch and dinner as well. And for the food items, where do you get your inspiration from? Do you, is it kind of obviously, you know, it's country, you know, yeah. tri-tip sandwiches, you know, that kind yeah, of stuff? Or? Yeah, Well, I've tri-tip sandwiches from time to time, not too, too often. Um, more in the summer, they sell really well. Uh, but yeah, you know, my food inspiration really just comes from what, what I know will sell now that I've gotten to know the community. You know, when I first started, I had a sandwich with arugula on it. How many times I got asked, what is arugula? Bro, right? What is that? Um, so arugula is just <laughs> like a spicy lettuce. <laughs> oh. It's like mustard spicy lettuce. It's it's, a good, like, it's really yummy. Um, but yeah, so just like uh, honing in on what I know the community likes. Um, right now, I think our top selling sandwich is called the All the Meat Melt. And that that came to be just me going oh my gosh i don't know what everybody wants how about just all the meat um so it's gonna be uh ham pastrami salami pepper jack cheese oh red gosh. onions and jalapenos we're gonna stick that in our pizza oven at 700 degrees for about three minutes get that really toasted and hot and then you could add mayonnaise mustard or barbecue sauce to it we sell that sandwich more than anything else no kidding yeah so that's the fan local favorite. that is the local fan favorite that is always on the grab and go box. Um, so we have a grab and go box on our countertop that I kind of, you know, if you're in a rush, you know exactly what you want. All the sandwiches are going to be ready in there. We don't rotate those very often. Um, a lot of Crestonites are creatures of habit. So they want to come in and have the same uh, sandwich every day. So uh, yeah, we have that in our grab and go box. It's always there ready to go. And we refill that all day, every day. Nothing's sitting in there. It is moving. <laughs> do you guys do any type of like, like to go like orders, like you, you like cater type yeah, stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Do? I actually just catered for a party of 70 this weekend. That was one of my bigger ones to date, but it was really fun. Huh. Um, yeah, so we I did a large cheese plates, so I do charcuterie plates. Um, that's really just more for fun than anything. Um, it's not the main part of my business, but I do enjoy it. Uh, that's kind of like my creative side of being able to work with that. So I did a few charcuterie plates. I did a um, shrimp cocktail. And then on the barbecue side of things, there was uh, ribeye, bread, um, wedge salads, all the good stuff. And is that something that is just some, somebody just like you didn't even think about this part of the business as far yeah, as the catering side? Yeah, it's kind of slowly creeping in. Uh, Jacob, I like to call it the big red barbecue trailer. That's something that he's really starting to enjoy doing. Um, and he was doing it on his own for a while. And um, every once in a while, we will kind of do a combo on it and step in and um, do some catering. I mean, because it's obviously it's a big. I mean, it's a big smoker. It's a big, yeah, big yeah. piece. Yeah. So we of have a double. We have a double smoker. Um, we it has a flat uh, blackstone grill on that as well, and then two 
very large Santa Maria style grills and something that we are adding now is going to be a pizza oven. So, um, on, on the trailer mm -hmm. too. Yeah. So oh, all wow. of that will be, uh, ready to go. And, um, you know, we do a lot of brandings, you know, ranch wedding stuff where, um, we don't need to necessarily plug in anything. It is, uh, hmm. fully ready to go out in the field. <laughs> So Marley, are you there quite often or do you At have... the Creston house? Yeah. Yeah. I'm there about four to five days a week. I'm sure as soon as my son ends up in school, I'll be there uh, even more. I would love to be there as, uh, as much as I can. Um, balancing that home life is uh, a whole nother deal. But yeah, I have some really great employees. Um, I have three gals right now that are there all part time working for me really hard and, um, you know, pride themselves in their work. And they're, they're kids that live out there? Um, no kids. Um, oh. So I have a couple of uh, um, just all really great adults that work for me. Awesome. Yeah. Somebody yeah. that you can count on. And you're, yeah, yeah. And I imagine that, you know, with, you don't get too much of that drama, you know, that you get like, yeah, yeah. Cause everybody. I've, I've learned industry. my lesson with uh, kids. Yeah. <laughs> I've had quite a few 18 year olds work for me, <laughs> but yeah, no, um, full, full blown adult, great women who um, have been working in the service industry for quite some time. Um, so, yeah. What is, what is one of those, um, those experiences or those, uh, you know, something that happened in the store. I mean, obviously you've been there for three years yeah. or coming on four years. Yeah. This that, is our you fourth know, winter, which winter is the toughest time of year. Right. Yeah. And you know, that you can look back on and just go, man, that was just, you know, great, you know, great experience, you know, as far yeah. as like people coming in saying they, you know, they stumbled on you. Or, yeah. Oh goodness. Um, so my favorite, two days of the year in crest actually three really um my favorite is halloween halloween is such a fun day of the year in creston so it's a pretty well-kept secret that creston does trunk or treating um so all the all the ranch kids everyone who you know you wouldn't necessarily live in a neighborhood that you would go around and knock on the door um come to downtown creston and so seeing all the kids in their costumes and all of that and trick-or-treating and then another really fun day is the fourth of july um we do a huge barbecue and outside um we set up a uh, makeshift announcers booth for the parade and there's oh, actually really? a parade in creston on the fourth of july um it is hot lots of water balloons are flowing and squirt guns and uh, we barbecue oh, tri-tip outside so just little nights of the community are really really fun um christmas parade as well creston does a christmas parade um you guys do a tractor parade uh yeah so cr the christmas parade is basically just put on your Christmas lights on whatever vehicle, whether it be a cow, a horse, a tractor, a big rig, um, and drive around our little town. Um, so that's huh. our Christmas parade, and it's really sweet to have um, the whole community together. How crazy does it get with, during the Creston Rodeo? Creston Rodeo is really fun. Um, the party's definitely more closer to the rodeo, but I'm happy to sell the beer and the ice uh, to keep that flowing. And I can't imagine, you know, as far as not selling out of i mean it's just it's just such a draw and it's getting bigger and it's, bigger it is getting bigger and bigger uh each year i just kind of predict about a 30 percent increase and so i just look wow. at the numbers from the year before and try to order enough to not sell out of anything that's always a goal but um you know you never know but this year i will have to say milkshakes outsold coors light crescent rodeo weekend so we are slinging a lot of milkshakes and that's what you brought here yeah you yeah, brought a milkshake yeah are these are, the, are these specially constructed by the creston store yeah so we hand we hand scoop all of our milkshakes um using thrifty vanilla ice cream that is the best ice cream out there in my opinion uh whole milk and then we have all the flavors that you can think of so chocolate strawberry vanilla white chocolate oreo peanut butter banana peach pineapple wow. um mocha coffee uh, and all of that comes straight from our espresso maker as well if you're ordering a mocha or coffee one um right now i have a mint and chocolate one you know those little andes candies right um uh, we put crushed candies in there peppermint chocolate um yeah so the the milkshakes are absolutely delicious and uh always topped with a good amount of whipped cream there so so, and so you guys got, like I said, you got your breakfast, lunch, 
And you, what do you do? You close. So we close at seven. So calling a pizza, I always say, you know, calling a pizza five minutes before. It's not a big deal. We'll make it for you. Um, it's no problem at all. So. Does, does Grubhub work out there? Um, you know, I haven't really looked into it. Companies like that do take a pretty high percentage from the small business, and okay. um, you know, I. I also just don't, I don't think so. We, right. you know. So they're like, all right, half an hour later. Yeah, they we, have to bar go. we barely get like some delivery services um, as really? far as like FedEx and stuff, depending on which road you live on. So I doubt. Uh, I so doubt. most everybody comes in, yeah. in, in the town. Yeah, they probably call, love it anyways. Yeah. Well, a lot of it is, you know, you're driving into town, you're driving from town into our town and just swing by, you call it, call in your pizza, you know, we've got quite a bit of toppings to choose from. We have it ready. It takes us seven minutes to make a pizza. So even if you don't call it in, just come in, we'll make it for you. It's not, it's not a very long process. And when you, when you say that you make the pizza, are you making the dough too and, and all that stuff? Yeah. So we don't make the dough. We're just being a being a kind of multi sandwich area, I don't have like a full pizza dough okay. um, kitchen. But you know, we do we bring in a really good high quality dough. I think it tastes amazing, and then uh, we're able to kind of make your pizza honestly a little quicker by just spreading on the sauce, getting the cheese, and then I have a um, my fancy pizza oven that cooks it um, fast and hot. So. Yeah. And for 2024, what any changes or any like ideas that you and yeah. you know Jacob kind of get? Hey, let's we gotta you know do this. Or... Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so for 2024, it's kind of more just uh, uh, really honing in on being regular and keeping it the same, and really you know being able to. I call this the year of just like honing in and doing it, um, consistency. So, um, complete consistency. This is our menu. This is everything. Um, something fun that we brought in last year was our slushy maker. So we have a slushy machine that during taco Tuesdays, we turn it into a frozen margarita machine. Nice. Um, and then that's something that you can rent out as well. So we do a rental program for that. Um, I kind of call it like a uh, a smaller umbre umbrella business under the Creston house, which is going to be Marley's mobile bar. So I do, um, I do, you know, you can do pina coladas, uh, any kind of slushy flavor, of course, margaritas, frosé, all of that good stuff. Um, we can bring it to your door. You supply the, supply the alcohol and we'll supply the, uh, the froze the frozen oh. drinks so yeah that was a big hit last summer um it comes with an eight foot bar it's ready to go we'll come drop it off and you have it for your party for the night so it's not a bad gig so we were, we were just talking about taco obviously today's yeah. tuesday taco, taco tuesday. tuesday so when does taco tuesday taco start tuesday starts in june and okay. it runs all the way through august and that's when the margarita slushy that's machine when the margaritas happening. roll in yeah is there any time of year that is like, like obviously summertime, but uh -huh. I mean, it, it seems like you'd be consistently busy. Yeah. Out there. So January is definitely our slowest time of year. Um, and then it does start to pick up from there on out and it kind of stays. Summer is definitely our busiest, uh, but with the rain that we've had this year, I'm ex I'm hoping for another super bloom. That super bloom brought in so much tourism hmm. uh, that was greatly appreciated on my end. <laughs> And do they do they come through town to go they to the do Super come, Bloom? Yeah, so they come through town on the way to Pozo. Um, okay. I'm not sure where it was posted. Some San Francisco newspaper that um, was sent to me, but it did say that there was somewhere posted that Creston was the last stop to the Super Bloom. So a lot of people did come in and stop. Um, hey, you can tap tap some sort of uh, drink to the super bloom, yeah. you know, right yeah, there is be before fun. they, cause you have to turn right there to yeah. go out that way. Yeah, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, last year we did like a hibiscus tea for it. It was really nice. Um, so like an ice, like a, an iced tea, um, not really selling a whole lot of to go cocktails, but yeah. Um, which good iced tea, stuff like that. Yeah. So cool. So, so you brought, a little bit of a yeah. That's uh, a chocolate milkshake. Can I try it? Absolutely. Awesome. Oh. And then, so this is just a standard old chocolate milkshake that yeah. you guys make there in Crested. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So this is this is here. We're gonna try this out. Wow, really chocolatey. Yeah. I could I could get I. 
Put a little bit of Bailey's in there. Oh, yeah. Take like, it home. You can do whatever you want. You, like. Like, you can do whatever you want with these <laughs> yeah. things. And then we're, oh, we also got some coffee. Yeah, yeah. So little coffee coupons there. So we're going to um, we're gonna give some of these away uh, with, with some of our uh, reels that we're going to be doing okay. with the Crescent cool. Store. So, um, but it sounds like, I mean, obviously you start this in obviously the worst possible time yeah but it is i mean that's really you can't get any lower you can't yeah, you know yeah it's only been up from there you know um it has made these now normal times feel uh feel, feel not too tough um there's probably a good time to get all the you know the kinks and the cop you know yeah we definitely got some kinks out when when first starting you know and um yeah, it, it helped also with finding employees. You know, a lot of people in the service industry had lost their job, so actually it, was, it wasn't too hard getting employees to start, which was nice, and, you know, just continuing on from there, um, getting kind of my hiccups out. Um, cool. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, so, Marley, tell us again where people can find you. How do they get a hold of you? Are you on Facebook, all yeah. that stuff? So we're on Facebook and Instagram. I do not have a website. It's just so easy to update things um, through social media versus a website. And it's free, which is really nice uh, right? as well um, for a small business that Facebook and Instagram do allow you to really run your business through there. Um, so, yeah, uh, for the Instagram, it's just at the Creston House. And for Facebook as well, it's the Creston House. And you're open seven days a week? Open seven days a week, yeah. Monday, uh, different timing no, later in the weekend? Yeah, Monday through, fr Monday through Friday, 7 to 8, Saturday and Sunday, 9 to 5. To five. Yeah. Awesome. And you have everything that you could possibly need. I try. try. I really try. And I do make note if I don't have something that someone needed to try to have it there for him next time. And if you happen to see the baby running around, yeah. he's not for sale. He's not for sale. No. Awesome. <laughs> Marley, thank you so much. Thanks for having really appreciate me, Randy. it. Of course. Yeah, for sure. I'm so I'm stoked. Like I said, I love Creston and I mean it's just that that small local jewel yeah. that we still have, you know, here in the North County yeah. that hasn't been consumed. Yeah, Creston and of course, is you probably Quite want the, the tourism secret. i you know? want it i as as a local i'm very torn so I know. of course i want it um the nice thing is is a lot of people come in they're like we're here looking to rent we're here looking to buy I'm like oh there is not much for sale here right? people don't really leave creston so I'll, but of course if someone moves in um they are welcomed with um open arms of awesome. course well, so, so happy that you guys came in. Yeah. I was so happy your store's out there doing great. And uh, like I said, we love Creston out there. Yeah. So thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank you. Well, there you have it, guys. Hey, make sure you guys get out to Creston. Check out all the small businesses out there. You do not want to miss the Creston house out there. Just between the loading chute and the long branch, you're going to find a jewel of the Central Coast, the old Western way, and you guys do not want to miss it. But as always, guys, we can't do this without you. We'd like to thank our sponsors. And if you want to sponsor us, you can go ahead and give us a shout, 805-391-4455. But as always, we have the uh, Escalar Wines, Wine Travelers Hideaway, Visit a Task Intero, 805 Customs, Pacific 805 Spas, Hanson Enterprises, Airflow Filter Services, Kennedy Club Fitness, Borhoen Auto Center, and Story Termite Pest Control, guys. Thanks again. Make sure you get out to Creston. Hi, this is Dave Story, small game owner with Story Termite and Pest. We're a full-service termite and pest control company. From rodents to termites, we can take care of all your pest control needs. Call today, we can tailor a pest control program that will meet your needs and budget. Contact us at 805-460-0650 or at storytermite.com. Remember, we don't have customers, we have friends. Hi, welcome to Kennedy Club Fitness, where we have something for everyone. We have weights, cardio, group exercise classes, racquetball, basketball, swimming, and pickleball coming soon. Here at Kennedy, we're committed to health, wellness, and community. Stop by any of our four locations, Paso Robles, Atascadero, San Luis Obispo, and Arroyo Grande, or check out our website at kennedyclubs.com. Three, two, one.
Trocadero isn't your standard getaway. We're unique, just like you. We're growing, transforming, and figuring it out as we go. We're a town filled with innovators, artists, makers, and game changers. We're a little bit country, a little bit funky, and always authentic. We're here for your good times, your slow times, and your changing times. We're all in Atascadero. Come see for yourself. 